So we're going to start off with a simple version of the diaphragmatic breathing. So this is typically our step one. Can we activate the muscle? We will start off on our back with our knees bent just to make it more comfortable. Again, the idea is to breathe in through the nose, hold for three or four seconds and slowly exhale. When we breathe in, we're looking to inflate the stomach as we exhale, relax the stomach. If you're having difficulty initiating it, you can always put your hand on as reference to see if it's moving as well as if it's still too difficult, you can add a little bit of pressure down so you can feel the resistance as you go up. Keep in mind, you don't wanna be activating your abdominals as you're trying to push it out versus allowing your diaphragm to do its work. So we'll start off here, hand on the stomach so you can see the first one, breathing in. Breathing out and then without the hand. One of the key things to remember when doing this diaphragmatic breathing is that we don't want to activate too much of the chest and neck. So when you're in this position, think about relaxing the chest a bit more, focusing on here. Eventually you'll go into the phase where you're able to bring everything up, but right now we're focused on can we get it activated. If you're interested in learning more about progressive breathing exercises related to POTS, chronic fatigue, or chronic pain, go to www.parpt.com and click on the link that says schedule consultation.